What's up guys, welcome to your 137th Android tutorial for the new Boston where we're actually going to start using this geocoder uh, to get an address and print it on the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to work within our try bracket that we set up in the last tutorial and we're going to create a list um, that holds our addresses and it's going to be the addresses type. So we're going to set up our list and like I said it's the type address like this and we're just going to call this address. We're going to set this equal to our geocoder that we set up in the last tutorial. So we're going to say geocoder dot, and we're going to use from the location, or get from location. And as you can see, it takes a lot longitude, latitude, latitude, longitude, and a maximum result. So first thing that we need to do is we need to reference our geo point that we set up a few tutorials ago called touch point right here. And again, this we can also say get longitude, get latitude, um, and that kind of uh, kind of method to get the longitude and latitude. So let's just set that up here real quick. Again, our geo point was called touched point. So we can say touched point dot get latitude, and that's going to give us a geo point. But what we want to do is we want to convert that into kind of the reference that Android is going to take for this. So we're just going to divide it by one e to the sixth um, like that and then we're also going to do the pretty much the same thing for the get uh, longitude so we're just going to say our touch point or our geo point dot get longitude and again we're going to divide it by um, 1 e6 um, because again when we're getting our longitude and latitude it has this e6 here so we actually just want to divide that out to get rid of that. Um, and then for a maximum result, all we're going to say is one because we just want one result for a list. And I see that I mistyped list over here, so make sure it's like that. And now we have our list address set up. And all we're going to do is basically uh, see if the address size is bigger than one because then we'll have something within our list and we can actually re reference it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, if address dot size and that's going to return the size of our list and if that's greater than zero uh, we're going to perform an action um, and this action all we're going to do is a for loop and we're going to say int i is equal to zero to start with not one sorry i and I know I'm kind of going quickly here I'll explain everything at the end once we're uh, we have everything set up and then we're going to say as long as i is less than our address dot get um, and we're going to get the location which we set as zero and what we're going to do is we're going to say get max address line index and that's going to get you know the maximum um, value of our addresses list and then we're just going to increment by one and now what we're going to do is within this for loop we're going to say uh, set up a string called display and we're going to say display is plus equal to which is going to add to our address and we refer to our address list so we're going to say address address dot get position zero or location zero and then we're going to say dot get addressed uh, address line and we're going to refer to our variable which we called I and then we're just going to print a new line so uh, you print a new line again just backslash in and that's going to set up our string so let's get rid of our error we have to add the catch exception the input output or uh, we're just going to say finally and we just need to get rid of this error, so we need to add a catch exception or a finally. So we're just going to say finally um, and have nothing in there. So once we add that finally, we see we get an error here. So we actually need to catch some kind of exception. So we're just going to say add catch clause um, to our parameter. And it's an input output exception that we're going to catch. So it sets it up for us. Uh, we need to have that specific catch because that's what we're trying here. And now when we run our application, let's hope everything works. All right, and then finally what we're going to do is, and then after this for loop, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a toast that's going to display our address um, or a display string here. So we're just going to say toast t is equal to toast dot make text uh, dot context. 
you can say get base class or get base context uh, which we used I didn't really explain but that's gonna be like our main context and we're gonna say display um, and the duration toast dot uh, set length long and then we're just gonna say dot uh, t dot show so we're gonna display our toast and we're getting an error here because our string is set up within this inner for loop so we're gonna cut that and kinda define it right here within our if statement and now when we run our program sorry uh, if that went a little quick there but again we just need our string outside of our if or our for statement and then we're gonna display the toast uh, just so we have reference to the same variable um, let's run it real quick and I'll go over a quick overview of everything that we've done in this that we did in this tutorial because I know it went pretty quickly but uh, let's make sure it works first what's up guys I ran our application on the emulator and for some reason it wasn't pulling up the address but when I ran it on my phone it was working so you guys are just gonna have to take my word for it that uh, the way that we wrote it here does work um, I would show you guys but you know I'm too lazy to bust out my camera and it's probably gonna be out of focus anyway so uh, it will display like you know if we zoom in in the house we can click on that house hold it down and then say get address and it'll tell us the specific address of that house so that's pretty neat and I also told you guys how to explain everything but this tutorial is getting kind of long so I'll probably do that in the next tutorial because it's going to be pretty short um, so just check out the next tutorial if you guys want a better understanding of what we actually set up here and I'll catch you then have a good one